Today we dive into the story of John the Baptist, the herald in the wilderness. His story is found in Matthew 3, Mark 1, and Luke 3. Picture a lone figure in the vast desert, calling out with a voice that breaks centuries of silence, preparing the way for someone extraordinary. This isn't just history, it's an adventure that connects us to a past where faith, courage, and the wild meet. Join us as we uncover the story of John the Baptist, the voice in the wilderness, a pivotal figure whose life set the stage for the greatest story ever told. In the rugged terrain of Judea, a figure emerged, as foretold by prophets, representing the essence of simplicity and strength. Clothed in camel hair, eating locusts and wild honey, John the Baptist was not caught up by earthly comforts. His appearance alone challenged society's standards, signalling a call to return to the basics of faith and repentance. John's proclamation, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near, resonated across the lands. Through baptism in the Jordan River, he offered a tangible act of repentance, symbolising the washing away of sins and the beginning of a new life committed to God. His message was not just of condemnation but of hope, urging all to prepare their hearts for the coming Messiah. From every corner of Judea, people were drawn to John, compelled by his authenticity and the power of his words. They confessed their wrongdoings and were baptised, signifying their desire for inner change. John's influence was undeniable, yet he remained humble, always emphasising that his role was to prepare the way for one far greater than himself. The banks of the Jordan River witnessed a pivotal moment in history, as Jesus approached John, signalling the commencement of a divine appointment. The air was filled with anticipation, the crowd's murmur quieting down to witness the interaction between these two pivotal figures. John, recognising the sanctity of the moment and the person before him, initially resisted, saying, I need to be baptised by you, and do you come to me? His words echoed the humility and reverence he held for Jesus, acknowledging his own role as merely the forerunner. Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfil all righteousness. This dialogue between Jesus and John highlighted the submission of Jesus to God's will, illustrating his readiness to identify with humanity's sins and sorrows despite his sinlessness. As Jesus was baptised, emerging from the waters, the heavens themselves responded. The sky opened, and the Spirit of God descended like a dove, alighting on Jesus. This supernatural sign was accompanied by a voice from heaven, declaring, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. This moment was more than a mere ritual. It was a public endorsement of Jesus by God a sign of the Holy Spirit's anointing for the mission ahead. It marked the beginning of Jesus' ministry, signalling the fulfilment of John's role as the one who prepares the way. John, standing by, bore witness to this divine affirmation. His mission of preparation reached its fulfilment as he saw the one he had spoken of, the Lamb of God, revealed to Israel and to the world. This event underscored the divine plan unfolding bridging the old and the new, with John as the herald and Jesus as the fulfilment of prophecy. John the Baptist's legacy is one of unwavering commitment to truth and righteousness. He bravely faced opposition and remained steadfast in his mission to prepare the way for Jesus, the Messiah. His life serves as a beacon of humility, always pointing away from himself and towards Jesus, the true light of the world. As we consider the story of John the Baptist, let us embrace the call to renewal and readiness. In a world cluttered with distractions, his life challenges us to focus on what truly matters and to live in anticipation of the greater good that is to come. Let John's example inspire us to be messengers of hope and agents of change in our own right. As you reflect on this story of John the Baptist, consider how you would answer these questions. 1. When you think about John the Baptist living in the wilderness and eating locusts and wild honey, what does that say to you about the things we need, or don't need, to live a meaningful life? How does John's lifestyle challenge the way we think about what's important? 2. John the Baptist called people to repent and prepare for Jesus' coming. 
What does preparing the way for something important look like in your own life? Can you think of a time when you had to get ready for a big change or event? 3. John the Baptist played a big role in preparing people for Jesus' teachings and miracles. How do you think being a voice in the wilderness like John can apply to us today? Can you think of ways we can help prepare or make it easier for others to learn about and experience love and kindness? Follow us on the Bible Renewal Project as we explore the timeless wisdom of the Bible with fresh perspectives and contemporary applications. Together we celebrate the beauty of God's ongoing work, contributing to a global renewal in hearts and minds. Dive into our videos to experience the living Word of God and be part of this inspiring movement.